We've come here to do what we need to do and let's, let's do our best to get it done. Oli just come into his own. He used an analogy at the time of 10 against one, 10 Brighton fans to one of ours. So that's what you're up against. So what are you going to do about it? We've got nothing to lose. I've won here before and I remember what it meant to every one of those people. I said, Wolf, the only way we can prove we're better than them, because we know we are, let's just go and win. Let's go and win. And this stadium built when Brighton were in League One with the Premier League in mind, now has the Premier League in sight. Well, one of them will be joining Gianfranco Zola and Watford at Wembley two weeks today. A place of final, a pathway to the Premier League. And of course, this wonderful, crackling derby atmosphere. Wilfred Zaha. Oh, he's lost out to Buckley! Spironi bails out Wilfred Zaha at Palace. My defenders, doesn't matter how many, so he's got the ability to get around them. Had there been a Crystal Palace striker going into the danger area, they may have the lead. There is an awful lot at stake. 135 minutes of football gone in this tie, and still no nearer to knowing who is heading to Wembley. And Palace have started with real purpose. Zaha pulled back up by Brickard. He's got away, though. When Wilf got the ball from the counter attack, I just remember busting and cutting. He's got Williams, who's onside. Wolf's pass was perfect. Williams for Palace! It's wide! Palace's best chance at the time. But Johnny Williams rolls it wide. You're thinking, oh, is it our day? It's a little touch on, it's a chance! It's off the crossbar! When you need your big players to turn up. A miracle save. He was just instinctive, really. All the training comes into the, those moments. Oh, well, it's a wonderful save. It is an absolutely wonderful save. I don't even remember how I did it, I just went. Boom. I had too much time, I think. I actually think that's why it took me off. <laughs> you could see how much it meant to me. I knew the substitutions would be vital. And as the game was going on and more it was going nil-nil, I was like, Yala, you're going to come on and win this game for us. I know what the boys are like, you know, everyone riled me up, you know, to make sure that I was still on it. If it had been me, I'd have probably played him. Yannick coming on made such a difference. And Brighty said to me, we got this, Steve. As a player, you get a sense, even now off the pitch, where you think something's about to happen. I nudged him and said, We've got them. We've got them. And you just felt in that moment that the tide had turned. Here comes the Rosanna corner towards Bart, off the line by Moxie. Here we go, this one is coming to the boil now. Crystal Palace can counter. And the hair stood up in the back of my neck. In that moment, I knew that we had them. But Lassie's gone across to the left to have a go at Calderon. Here he is. I can remember just staring into the crowd and just everyone just going crazy. The director's box erupts and the fans erupts. I'd literally never seen him head the ball ever. Diving header, rare diving header. Wilfred takes the game by the scruff of the neck. Dickershaw. It's amazing. That night was crazy. Yeah, night to remember. Special man. Sheer euphoria. That was something else, man. I can't remember the goal. I can just remember the excitement and just going crazy in the director's box and, and sort of thinking, oh dear, we shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> Better sit down quick.